Kathy Donovan's here now with a quick look at the forecast. Pretty nice day today. Dave, I would say we are dropping, though, temperature-wise, from our high of minus 4.4 at 1 a.m. to our current temperature of minus 8, a west wind at 11 kilometers per hour. Starting to see a bit of cloud move into the region now. Let's check on temperatures around the viewing region. Some very, very light snow close to the north shore of Lake Ontario through Kingston and Trenton, also Peterborough. Very light flurry activity, in fact. Uh, nice and warm along the north shore. A little bit cooler in the northern parts. Uh, Pembroke at minus 9, as well as Manawaki. A look at the satellite shot will show a little area area of cloud associated with that frontal trough that's been across the region over the last few days. Still with that little bit of cloud, we will see a little chance of flurries through the evening hours, uh, more uh, chance of flurries along the north shore of Lake Ontario, of course, and then in Ottawa, we stand a 60% chance of some very light flurries, and those of you in Pembroke, Manawaki area, it doesn't look like you're going to see anything much but clear skies. Let's put the satellite shot into motion and show you the track of our disturbance. Still, we have some uh, cloud pushing uh, east eastward associated with the low that's now over South Dakota. That system moves to the southeast and as it moves we're going to see that little chance of flurries through the evening hours. Ridge of high pressure up along the border of Manitoba, northwestern Ontario. That's going to sink in overnight to clear us out. Cold night ahead. Minus 18 in town, likely closer to minus 23 in the outlying areas. Uh, let's push it ahead to tomorrow and watch that ridge sort of take over a little bit more. We're looking at a nice bright sunny day tomorrow. A high near minus 10. It'll be a little bit fresher than we have seen over the last uh, day certainly today. Let's take a look at our Magic 100 five-day forecast now. As I mentioned, cold minus 18 tonight. Tomorrow, nice bright sunshine, a fresh day, a high near minus 10, and then things start to warm up as another disturbance starts to wind its way up from Texas. That's going to bring some afternoon cloud on Tuesday, and we think right now some scattered flurries for Wednesday and for Thursday, Dave. <laughs> Need I say more? What day, what day is it today? It's 6 o'clock. It's time for the Super Bowl. I was just at a party. I'm going back as soon as we're done here. <laughs> well, there you go. Time All right. Do it. That'll do it. Okay. You're on. Here we go. The 67s have just wrapped up uh, three games in three days. Victorious in all three. Get this by a combined score of 24 to 6. And Matt Zoltek in the 67s. Boy, they're on a roll. Leading 2 to 1. Blanchard shot from the point goes off. Lance Galbraith's leg. And you'll see it right there in front. It is 3 to 1. For Ottawa at that point, a few minutes later, it's Galbraith behind the net, picks it up, sends it out front to Mark Bell. That makes it 4-1 to one for the 67. St. Mike's clearly frustrated today. Look at this, Jim Moriarty bumping the ref. That's a no-no. He will likely get a suspension. 5-2 is the final. These two will play a makeup game at the Civic Center on Wednesday. Also on the Subway Junior scoreboard, the Bulls beat the Generals for the second straight game. Let's move on to the NHL. New Jersey and Montreal. Ask Doug Gilmore why he puts baby powder on his blade. He'll tell you why because Wayne Gretzky does. Goaltending, dangerous business. Look at Martin Brodeur get hit in the head from Recky's skate. And here's Bobby Holik with a blistering slap shot to bulge the twine. His 22nd is 2-0 jersey. Late third, Recky spins and fires, but that's as close as the Habs would get. The Devils beat Montreal for the third time this year and now have a three-point lead in the East over Philadelphia. Boston and Washington, the Caps wearing new uniforms. In the first, it's Joe Thornton down the wing. Out to Anson Carter, who came to Boston from Washington. Thornton's first NHL assist. It's 1-0. Here's Housley tying it from inside the line. That made it 1-1. And then in the second, Adam Oates shot. We'll just dribble past the foe. Brunette gives him a little helping hand. The Caps beat the Bruins. Bill Ranford winning his first in a, or in his first start since December 27th. The NBA, Dennis Rodman back from his journey to that strip club in New York. There's Hornacek with a shot. Carl Malone helps the bucket in, and it's 35 points for Malone on the day. Bulls trailing by 12. Look at the reach by Jordan. Bulls can't slip past Utah. As a result, Phil Jackson will not coach the Eastern Conference All-Stars. Larry Bird will get that job. And very quickly, Tiger Woods came from eight shots back to win the first tournament of the year on the European circuit. Woods needed a playoff to beat Ernie Els in Thailand, and the NBA announced the starting lineups for February's All-Star game. Kobe Bryant was among them, and he becomes the youngest starter in history at 19. All right. Thank you, Jim. You're That's welcome. great. You're going to watch the game, are you? Yeah, I'm back to that party. Okay. All right. That's our report for today. Now stay tuned after the break for Max Keeping, and we'll have a reprise of Ice Storm 98. Power to the people. Closed captioning of this newscast is brought to you as a community service by South Bank Dodge. Canadian winters can be really, really cold. 
McEwen Ethanol is the natural gas line antifreeze that defies Canada's cold winters. Trust the original winter gas. McEwen Ethanol. Some of the world's most frequent users of today's banking technology are Canadians. But some people wonder who really benefits from that technology. The banks or their customers? The answer is both. But at Canada's banks, we may not have explained things well enough. So, we're making a promise to provide more information about banking and about today's financial world. You'll be hearing more from us. Seems like everyone's using their lunch hour to stay in shape. But if you really want to make it pay off, you gotta eat something nutritious. Use your lunch hour wisely. At Subway, you can get a freshly made sandwich under six grams of fat made the way you want on fresh baked bread. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. Got a cram. Walk it off. Hey, Helen, how you doing? January is awesome, and then some at Surgeon or Pontiac Buick. This 1997 V6 fully equipped Grand Am is awesome at $249 per month. Nobody beats little profit of Surgeon or Pontiac Buick GMC.